The area that I've been working with most closely has been the issue of the sustainability of music traditions. And I've been looking recently mostly at those circumstances where music traditions against the will of the communities and the pr practitioners who make them are for whatever reason endangered or in some way at risk. And looking at strategies that communities might be able to take in order to ensure vibrant and viable futures for their musical practices. One of the flagship projects in this area is called Sustainable Futures for Music Cultures. And it really investigated the very complex set of factors that contributes to the strength and the sustainability of music practices around the world. Professor Halb Skippers here at QCRC led Sustainable Futures for Music Cultures and we were collaborating with three national and international partner organisations, one of which was the International Music Council, seven universities in Australia and in Europe and the United States, and a really world-renowned team of music researchers who led nine case studies of music genres around the world. One of the outcomes of this project is a really well-documented and internationally tested model for understanding the dynamics of music cultures within their cultural and social and economic and even political ecosystems. But right from the start, one of the aims of this project was really to develop a set of tools and resources that communities around the world might be able to use in order to design strategies to ensure the sustainable future of their own musical practices. I've been able to draw on some of the findings of the Sustainable Futures for Music Cultures project in a recent project that I've been undertaking in Cambodia recently. I've just returned from six months on an Endeavour Australia research fellowship where I was looking at some of the links between the sustainability of traditional music over there and issues of poverty alleviation and ways to improve the socio-economic situation of young people, young musicians in particular. So I've been working with uh, groups of young musicians and also non-profit organisations to try to identify strategies that they might be able to use through music in order to improve their own lives.